So today I'm super excited to bring you the .NET MAUI hybrid web view. My name is David Ortnow and I am a product manager on the .NET team working on client applications for Android, iOS, Mac, and Windows. With the hybrid web view, you have the ability to take Angular code, React code, really any web code, and bring it into your native mobile applications built with .NET MAUI. Now, you may have seen this before with the Blazor web view, uh, and that's where we can take ASP.NET, Blazor web view code, Razor syntax, etc., and blend that almost seamlessly, really, into native UI with .NET MAUI. From talking to a lot of customers and developers, we know that there is a lot of Angular code and a lot of React code out there in your worlds. And we want to see how we can help you leverage more of those, you know, even as components or as whole pieces of an application or the whole application altogether within .NET MAUI, uh, still giving you all the native UI possibilities as well as direct access to things like the accelerometer, secure storage, et cetera, et cetera, that you really, really need when you're doing uh, native client application development. So today I'm gonna give you a quick demo. Let's go ahead and take a look at some code. So here I am on my desktop and I've already started this application up. It is a file new blank Maui app, uh, almost blank. I've got a, a .NET bot and some other UI elements here. I can click on this and see it working. So you can see that this is all native UI, scroll view, vertical stack, image, label, etc. And I can do all of the normal uh, Maui things that you would expect, like hello build. And then if I flip back to the application, you'll see that that's reflected there. I can also use .NET hot reload. So this is incrementing by one. If I want to, I can come back to the method where that is happening and I can say, hey, let's go ahead and let's hurry this up. Let's increment by a hundred. I can do a command save, control save because I have hot reload on file save set up. When I come back to the application, it can now increment by hundreds. And then I also have the XAML Live Preview, which is a super useful way to kind of navigate through the UI. I can inspect the elements here. I can uh, zoom in on them. When I bring the application closer, then I can even navigate directly to those things like this counter button. And then I can, then of course, uh, navigate to the click, go to definition and go right back to where I was. But we wanna now enable web UI in here. Um, so I'm gonna start with some basic uh, JavaScript and, and such. And so first things first, I am going to open up the resources folder of this MAUI solution. Um, I have all my platforms here in the platforms folder. So any of my native content can go here if it's specific to a particular platform. Um, and I've got cross-platform images, fonts, all kinds of great stuff here. But this raw folder uh, basically will let me drop any content into my solution that I want to. And .NET MAUI won't do any kind of manipulation to it whatsoever. Uh, it'll just let me use it as content. So I have a folder here. And I'm going to bring in this hybrid root. And I'll show you what's in here. So I can go ahead and get rid of this. And I'm going to bring in a new control, which is the experimental hybrid web view control. It is packaged up as a NuGet. And uh, this actually comes from, let's pull up my web browser here. So this is the hybrid web view repository from Alan on our engineering team. He worked for a long time on ASP.NET and he took a lot of the same concepts from the Blazor web view that we have that he helped work on, work on and he brought that over to this hybrid web view. So it's available on NuGet. I'm just gonna come back here and in the NuGet package manager, I'm gonna browse for um, Maui hybrid. And there it is, EJL, Elon Lipton. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and install this. So that installs my uh, NuGet. I remove some XAML, so it's complaining about some C-sharp, no problem. But I also need to register it here so that .NET MAUI knows about this. So builder, services, and then uh, use. Oh, 
add services, add hybrid web view. So now that's registered and ready to go. I can come back over here and I can do some cleanup and I'm going to add my hybrid web view here. So uh, first things first, I need a namespace so that I know how to get this XML and S XAML namespace. And we'll call this hybrid web view equals and then hybrid. There's the hybrid web view control. And now when I come down here, I can type in hybrid web view. It'll auto complete that for me. And I need to provide a few things for it. I need to provide the root. The asset root is going to be this hybrid root folder within raw. So I don't need to provide the raw or the resources, any of those paths. I can just say hybrid root. Get ahead of myself on typing. Um, and I, then I need to tell it what the main file is. So the main file here, open up the hybrid root, it is index.html. And then uh, well, we have some other things that we want to do here. We want to be able to call a method in JavaScript. So let's see here. So we can do new raw message received, new event handler. It's going to go ahead and create that for me. Awesome. And I can close that. Now we can do that work back here in the code behind. I can firstly get rid of the template code from the not quite blank template. <laughs> um, and now I can decide what it is I want to do with this. So I'm just going to grab the code snippet um, from the demo page here and it's on hybrid web view. I'm going to grab this bit and what this is going to do is it's going to display a native alert in the UI here. I need to make this an async method. There we go. Um, e message is coming in. E is the raw message received. And that's good to go. So everything is here and wired up. I'm going to go ahead and rebuild this. And while that's rebuilding, let's talk about what's in this hybrid web root. So I have a reference to the hybrid web view JS. This is coming in through the NuGet package. And then I have a reference to my app JS. My app JS, doop, doop, there it is. My app JS is just a simple function in a JavaScript file. It's going to grab the message input entry field and it's going to uh, call the send raw message to .NET. So you, we have a couple of methods in this hybrid web view, one to send messages to, to uh, .NET and one to send messages to JavaScript. All right, so the application is already up here and running, and let's see this work. We can do hello build 2023, and then send to C Sharp. There it is. This is all native UI, and then this is all web UI. And I can show you that it's web UI, firstly, because I can select it, but I can also do uh, F12. F12 brings up the Edge Dev Tools. So this is utilizing on Windows uh, the web view too. And then I can you know do things like inspect my UI. Look at that. It's a div, that's an input text, and you can see that this is all working because I can actually come in here and say David's message. Just like that. Updates the UI. Um, but I can also be doing uh, things in XAML as well, just like we showed before. I could come in here and I could say, you know what? I want this to be in a grid. I want two rows. I'm going to go with uh, 300, no, 400 on the first one. Well, we'll just make it as, as big as we want. And we'll do auto on the next one. Then we can move the closing of the grid down here. And then I can do something like adding another button down here. It's going to do nothing, but it just to show you that I can put other native UI elements in the same place. So there we are, do nothing. 
just like that. All right, so that's a very simple example and shows you kind of the basics of how to wire things up. Let's look at something that's got a little more meat to it. So here's another application that I have running. And all of this uh, application in here, this to-do application, this is all a React application. So I can add more awesome things like build demo applause, because everybody's going to love this. And you see that we now have build demo applause. And so when everybody claps, I'll be able to check that off. But all this up here, that's all native UI. Let's take a look at how this is put together. Um, so as seen before, uh, we can inspect the UI. That takes me right to the XAML. Um, I can then do things like um, all the other you know, changing of, of UI that I could do before. Um, I have the hybrid web view as before, and that is what is appearing here. And I don't have any methods or anything on it here because that is all happening in the code behind. In the code behind, at the beginning of this page, we uh, attach to the hybrid web view an invoke target. Let me minimize this a little bit. Um, so in this invocation target, or the JS invoke target, um, we have this class, and we're going to pass a few things in here. So if I navigate to this, it's just lower in this particular sample, and this sample is available in the repository for the hybrid web view. Um, you can see that uh, I set up a reference to the main page and then a reference to my data store. The data store is just an in-memory to-do list. Um, and then when the application starts, uh, we're able to set up other tasks. I also have all of these public methods. So essentially what's going to happen is any of these public methods will map to the JavaScript uh, that is called within the React application. Uh, let me show you the Solution Explorer. And in this particular case, these are the build assets that came from this application. So they're all minified, so it's not, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to go looking at them here. But what I have done is I have loaded it up in the repository on, on the uh, fork that Alon made. And so you can come in here and you can look and see, okay, where is all of that code coming from? What's happening here? So within here, let's say, for example, when a, uh, a task is edited, then we're going to use the hybrid web view reference and we're going to call a method called add edit text task, excuse me, edit task. Well, where is edit task? Like I said, it's on the JS invoke target over in uh, Visual Studio. So bounce back to Visual Studio here real quick. Edit task. It is a public method on to do JS invoke target, which is the JS invoke target assigned to the hybrid web view. So that's kind of the fundamentals of how all of that stuff is set up. And if you notice, the to do items is four. If I go and say, okay, I've already, I've already slept, delete it, three. This is all native UI up here, and then this is all web UI down here. So you can see that uh, the, the syncing, the back and forth is all happening. Um, and I have JavaScript talking to .NET, and I have .NET talking to JavaScript. So there you have it. That's the .NET MAUI hybrid web view. And you can bring Angular, React, any other web technology into your mobile or desktop application using it. It's an experiment, so please go to the GitHub, check it out. Try it out with your application, see how it might be useful to you, and let us know. We really want to hear your feedback, open issues for us, and let us know how we might be able to make this a useful part of your next application.